Joe Foss students are getting ready to show off their art and poetry. Tonight we show you some of the students' work. He tried to signal to call for help, but I couldn't read the signs. This poem is Lilith McCaffrey's gift to a close friend who attempted suicide. The Joe Foss student will perform it Friday night at the Vision and Voice Showcase. It's the biggest thing that's happened recently in my life because, you know, I couldn't imagine a life without him. It's kind of scary to think about it since he's been my rock for three years, so I can be there for him now. As some students practice their poetry, others are putting the finishing touches on their paintings. Bianca Anderson's colorful canvas is a present for her longtime friend who's moving away. Just mainly so that she can remember me and like kind of the times that we spent together. About 40 to 50 Joe Foss students are taking part in this semester's Vision and Voice. It's a safe spot to be able to tell your story. There's some healing that comes through that. They let kids know that they're not alone in their stories. And the other thing is they're educating us older people about what's going on in their lives. And it's important for the community because it's like, I think kids get labeled with all this different stuff and we don't realize all the things that kids are going through. When McCaffrey shares her story for a crowd, she hopes to spread a message of hope. Just know that you always have someone to talk to, whether it's a close friends, your parents, your, your teachers, other students. And the Friday showcase will also include a band made up of school staff members. Doors open at 6 at the Axtell Park building. You can see the art and listen to the band before the poetry slam at 7. Be sure to use door L.